fell in love through his servant, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Don't you talk about possessing the nations? Don't jump your home. Spirit. Let the wells spring up. Let the wells be open. Let the fountains of the deep break open as you are speaking in the language of the Spirit. Continue to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for the gift of life, for His grace, for His mercies. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your spirit.
bless the name of the lord for this great gift of salvation even when we were yet sinners god still demonstrated his love towards us that he died for us what a love what manner of love the father has lavished upon us wherever you are open your mouth and begin to show appreciation for this gift called salvation show appreciation for his love that he has lavished upon us show appreciation that in that while we were yet sinners there was a demonstration of this love he who did not spare his one and only begotten son but gave him unto us freely let's bless the name of the lord wherever you are thank you jesus thank you our father thank you our god we thank you for the blood hitherto we were far off but now has been brought near we have every reason to say thank you jesus for dividing that dividing wall of hostility god you brought it low that the two may become one flesh that today we shall be called the church of god a people of god a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people once we were not the people but now we are a people once we had not received mercy but now we have received mercy thank you for this love thank you for this grace thank you for finding us even when we were sinners and showing and demonstrating your love towards us thank you God for this awesome love for this reckless love you left the 99 and came looking for us oh we bless your holy name we give you all praise we give you all glory be exalted be adored be ye lifted up Lord thank you lord thank you lord we give you praise we give you glory we want to continue to pray committing tonight meeting into the lord's hands that we are telling the lord that god we have come again we come with open hearts we come with great expectation and your word says that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god we are asking the lord that he should work on our hearts we are opening the recesses of our spirit to receive from him one more time lift your voice commit your spirit soul and body into the lord's hands as we stand before him to receive from him tonight lift your voice wherever you are let's open our mouths and begin to pray father we come to you once again we know that you have something new something new installed for us we are ready lord our mouth is open wide fail it one more time we open our hearts unto you god visit us one more time deal with our hearts and let us leave as people unleashed to go and transform their world in the name of jesus we want to commit our father into god's hands we are praying lifting up our father the chairman into the lord's hands that as god has always been doing may the lord multiply grace may the lord multiply utterance as he speaks may the power of god be transmitted from the screens and touch lives and change hearts and transform people to transform their worlds let's lift up our father before god that grace will be abandoned lift your voice and let's pray we commit our father before you oh god let grace be abundant let grace abound let grace be abundant lord for him tonight touch her lips god let your grace be multiplied give him more trance as you've always been doing tonight do even more and through him oh god reach lives touch lives transform lives and change lives to the praise of your glory we give you all the praise lord we know tonight will be another encounter and the expectations of our hearts oh god will be suddenly met by the power of your word in the name of jesus You've been faithful, Lord, from the ages past. Oh, that is why your name oh, is forever. You've been faithful. Lord, to be 
praise and adore. Hallelujah. You alone are worthy, Lord. Oh, to be praised and adored. You've been faithful, Lord. Hallelujah. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past. we give you praise father we give you glory we are thankful and we are grateful for what you have done and whom you have made us because of the blood we now have access to partake in your divine nature and so we can call ourselves a people of God once we were not a people but now we are once we had not received mercy but now we have received that is why we say we have a reason to say thank you jesus tonight we know that you're going to meet us in a very special way so take charge over the rest of the session and let your glory be revealed now and forevermore amen celebrate jesus
to worship this great God God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God it is all about the love of God this evening you want to worship our God our great God the one who has shown us love and who has shown us mercy let's worship this great God we worship you Lord we worship you Lord we are grateful for your love Lord Basiande Himalo Siande greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends that is what the Lord has done for us we appreciate this love Himalo Riandara Baba Sikade in the labor Riandara Balo Riande in the labor Sukabadianda Himbariande lay worship him Lord Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He are done up above your day. In the labor we are done. My yeah. So we mame.
so glad that our Father in heaven tells of His love in the book He has given. Lord, our fathers in the Bible, I see the Hey, 
But God shows his love for us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you for the love that you've shown to us. Thank you, Lord. And we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
In the word of God and then in fasting we will see once again the ancient Pentecostal power at work in our lives beloved we want to welcome you to the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost Apostle Eric Nyamiche we are grateful to all those who are joining us on TV we are on DSTV channel 367 Go TV channel 214. We want to welcome those who are joining us on channel 34 on the digital platform as well as those who are connecting also on the sideline platform here in Ghana. We are also in parts of West and Central Africa. We especially want to welcome those who are connecting on Atinka TV. Atinka TV, we are very grateful to Atinka Media Village for carrying this feed on Atinka TV. Beloved, we are streaming live on Facebook. We are on Pen TV GH. We are also on the COP HQ on YouTube. The channels are Pen TV GH and the Church of Pentecost. This is the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. We especially want to welcome our very, very enthusiastic Zoom audience, as well as those who are listening to us on the COP online radio. Beloved, we are grateful to our sponsors. Adum City Estates. Adum City Estate is saying that you can own a luxury home without breaking the bank. Next Computers is your home of top class quality computers and accessories, photocopiers and money counting machines. Next Computers is next to none when it comes to computer products and its accessories. Lufa Tablet and Syrup. Lufa Tablet and Syrup is saying that once you test for malaria, there is only one antidote. It is all about Lufa Tablet and Syrup and then EDC. EDC is a subsidiary of the Ecobank Group. EDC is saying that you can continue to save, you can continue to invest so that little by little you can become financially independent. Beloved, this is the sexual service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Here we are cultured, here we are trained unto righteousness and gradually the curtains are being drawn on this awesome, awesome journey we have had when it comes to the subject matter of bitterness. And our Father has been teaching us how people have been dealing with bitterness. Some express it, some repress it. Last week was very, very challenging when he looked at the suppressing nature of dealing with bitterness. But all these three still leaves much to be desired. We anticipate that maybe tonight, through God's word, we will move to the more positive dimension of dealing with bitterness. As always, it's my singular honor to introduce to the lectern our father, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost Worldwide, Apostle Eric Nyamiche.
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to bless God for yet another opportunity to be at his feet. We are praying that God will grant us grace to be able to hear from him himself. So we've been discussing four ways that people tend to deal with bitterness. So number one, we say that people express it. They just want to express that bitter feeling in their spirit. Now others want to repress it. Then last week we also talked about the fact that some want to suppress it. Now we are saying that to express it is to show or to manifest or reveal what is on the inside of a person. Now we said that expressing one's opinion in itself is not bad. Yeah, but in this instance, what are you manifesting? What are you trying to express? Bitterness. A bitter feeling, and certainly it will manifest in anger and fights and the like. So we said that repress is to keep a feeling under control. But just keeping a feeling under control does not mean the pain. All the bitterness is not there. Then we say that when it comes to suppressing, there is an element of force in suppressing. So suppressing a bitter feeling produces tension within the individual. And unless such a person releases that bitterness within the person is not free at all and now we come to the big one confessing confessing and so today we shall start discussing the fourth and the most effective way of dealing with bitterness that is to confess it we will begin discussing it. So what that means is that we are not going to end it today. So to confess is to acknowledge and admit by way of revelation the true state of one's heart. It is now to acknowledge and admit and i said by way of revelation the true state of one's heart revelation because that heart has been in that state all the while but it sometimes it takes god's grace to bring the true state of your heart to you i mean to come to terms with the fact that there is something wrong on the inside now i'm saying that it is some many times by revelation because the heart has been in that state for a long time now god is granting that fellow that revelation of the true state of his or her heart because their heart has been in that condition for a long time it is a pouring out of facts either to suppress to god or to someone or to the perceived offender with the intention of making peace or receiving forgiveness and favor. Now confessing in the context of bitterness is 
what I have put out there. And no, and a So we are saying that it is a pouring out of facts either to suppress to God or to someone or to the perceived offender with the intention. Now we all confess, but when you confess with the intention of making peace or receiving forgiveness and favor, then that is a true confession in the context of bitterness. Okay. Why are you no and tembe basum gay? Now take that again. Yeah, and you it is very, very important. I hate him. We all make confessions. We are not talking about uh, confessing your sins to God or positive confession, but the confession in the context of the discussion of bitterness is this one. Yeah, yeah, can no if you do so be no maybe a yen ya a sena kumemwa or pemu aka to acknowledge we know and no say nipana jiatum and admit by way of revelation coming from the spirit of God the true state of one's heart it is the pouring out of facts hitherto suppressed to God. Or someone or to the perceived offender with the intention of making peace or receiving forgiveness and favor. Now we together. There are two kinds of confessions here. One. You confess or admit before God the true state of your heart with the intention of making peace or receiving God's forgiveness and favor. And the second uh, part of the confession is you confess to someone or the perceived offender what the state of your heart is or how you feel about an offense. With the intention of making peace and reconciliation. So the first one we are saying that is a confession to God. The second one is a confessing to someone or the perceived offender. What the state of your heart or one's heart is or how you feel about an offense. Offense. This O F E S S E is it's not C with the intention of making peace and reconciliation. So, so the intention in the confession is very, very important. So you either confess to God and other times you confess to men. I do not mean reporting an offense. Now, confession is not reporting an offense. Reporting an offense to someone is not confession. Confession is with an intent. Now, for peace and reconciliation, 
if that is not there, then it is not the true confession in the context of bitterness. But in true confession, there could be an element of confrontation. I mean to face up to an, or deal with. See, usually the best thing you can do in an embarrassing situation is to confront it head on. I don't know, no, maybe or not said you see a new one, you know, a so to me, you see a new near new. For example, me, my wish is we when a superior is or has harassed you sexually. And because of the consequences, you don't want to report them. You may confess. You may confess your feeling to God. And you may confess to this fellow how you are feeling. So that would mean to confront him or her head on. Now we know can see by laying bare how you feel about their action. So in confession, there could be confrontation. In some instances, when confessing to someone may be difficult to do because of the stigmatization. Or the consequence. You simply confess to God. <laughs> there are certain things that it is hurting you. But talking to God alone will be better. So you keep it. Talk to God. And let go the bitter feeling. I hope you are remembering yours. However, my interest this evening is to deal with confession one. Yes. You confess or admit before God the true states of your heart with the intention of making peace or receiving God's forgiveness and favor. As in pouring out the bitterness within. Now before God. Pouring out the bitterness within before the Almighty God. We will go to First Samuel chapter one. Now, this is a story that I want all of us to kind of um, pay attention to. There is this man, or there was this man who had two wives. Penina and Hannah. Now Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Now Penina onibi. The Bible says year after year, the man will go to worship in Shiloh. She will go with the two wives. But Hannah will always tease. Penina will always tease Hannah because she was barren. And so they be Hannah Penina or the Hannah Awa onwe yano esreno. And this irritated her, Hannah. Now we no bribi emu no. Eya na how Hannah ye pa? Because the Bible says that her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate irritate her. I trust him. They say bribi emu no na nikurei oyi oyi ne hiya my Hannah kuma. 
Now, if Hannah was irritated, then the condition is the problem is not what she is hearing. The problem now has become the condition of her heart. Now, so there was some kind of bitter feeling in Hannah. This one was being caused directly by penny. Now her husband Elkanah will say, Hannah, why are you weeping? So to the extent that she will weep. Why don't you eat? I didn't to the extent that, that she wouldn't even eat. So turn with me to verse 9. First Samuel chapter 1 from verse 9. Samuel chapter 1 from verse 9. When they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now Eli, the priest, was sitting on his chair by the door post of the Lord's house. Now did he? Now one of them was Shiloh. No, Hannah sorry. Now so now a soft elite a jaso a radia sorry that no ano apunya no. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. Now in her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. The anguish is a feeling of pain. It is not on the skin. It is in, on the inside. And then she also wept bitterly. Now there was no one there. She was actually weeping and praying to the Almighty God. And she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her a son. Then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life. And no razor will ever be used on his head. Now, she was saying, as of where are they? So, she was saying, I'm going to go to the house. Now, I'm going to go to the house. Now, I'm going to go to the house. And yet, may the noble Melrade, Nim Quenina, now you won't be a rinkanity. She is praying to God, or bought a radium pie, confessing her state, or can't now come up, baby, a genano, Eddie Achrevrade. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Now, Ugusuri bomb pie, no, a radi, and Nimono, Eli, Shena, no, Dean. Hannah was praying in her heart and her lips were moving but her voice was not heard eli thought she was drunk now, let's move on and said to her how long are you going to stay drunk put away your wine and now, Eli can say, and I say, that bang, and I will be bronze, I could see you will sound no more everywhere. So now, let's pay attention to verse 15 and 16. Mommy, I'm saying you do no any do see any year. Not so, my lord, Hannah replied, I am a woman who is deeply troubled, deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Hannah Buana said, There be Mura, me or Bagre, who need not Bobesa any in Sabiara de Minumbi. Now, me fear me cry, me go a radi. And I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Me fear me cry, me fear me cry, go a radi. And now, what does she mean by pouring out her soul to the Lord? Now, oh, she need go a radi and you know, a dear no patch. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. In fact, waba wa ento oba huu ni bingo if we say my great war any my yemu jadu duomu ena makasa abesi si say. 
pouring out my great anguish and grief. I'm pouring out the bitter feeling within. See, unforgiveness, resentment, and holding on to grudge keep you in bondage. It will keep you in bondage. You only be free when you pour it out before the Lord. Brothers and sisters, you need to free yourself today like a bird from the foulness. And times of refreshing will come from above. You know the state of your heart. Pour out the bitterness before God. Just confess to Him your feeling of bitterness. And times of refreshing will come from above. Now, verse 17. Eli answered, Go in peace. May the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. Verse 18. She said, May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way. Now she can eat and eat something. And now her face was no longer downcast because the reflection on her face was as a result of what was going on on the inside. Now, okay, say, my wife, now, any one who is dumb, and now, Obanu see him, Koko didi, na ne nimunso, na ne nimunso, and tese can you not be? Let me say this. I mean, can we? Don't forgive people because they are nice guys or they are worth forgiving. Forgive people because you want favor from God. You see, if you want to marry your wife well, don't marry your wife because you love her so much. Marry her in love because you love the Lord. Many people do not forgive deserve our forgiveness but if you want god's favor pour out that bitter feeling don't look at the person's actions or inaction but remember that it is god who will either lift you up or Destroy. And so say, says, Father, I'm pouring out my spirit. Just do one thing for me. And so If you grant me a boy, she wouldn't say that. Give me a boy so that Penny now will also know that I'm not barren. No. She wouldn't go there at all. No. Give me a, a son so that Penny will also know that I'm not barren. No. Give me a son. And I'll give him back to you. That is a spirit that is released. Spirit that is released. Now, which verse are we? So verse 19. Early the next morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord and then went back to their home at Ramah. Elkanah made love to his wife Anna and the Lord remembered her. I was sorry, I know, but you too, because sorry, I read the enemy. Now, I was saying, but I was saying, Ramah. Now, Elkanah, I was saying, I was saying, I was so in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. Not because I asked God to pay back 
penny. I asked God for him. God has given me in this board. The, the act of confession brings deliverance. But it, it brings deliverance to the soul. And it releases the soul for that matter, the individual, and releases favor from above. Now, I pray that we will repent. Now, repent is to turn or to return. Try and turn away from all the resentment that is in your heart. Now don't brood over them any longer. And great times of refreshing will come from above. My interest this evening is just one. Let us go before God. And let us pour our bitter feeling before him. This is where to begin. And yes, as you then subsequently I'll tackle confessing to man. Now yeah, to us no, yeah, because he pay more country or nipa. Because the human being is quite difficult. It's not say nipa, ne one who meet you need so many strategies in trying to deal with man. But as for God, just go before him. And let it be straight. Let him know the condition. Say, oh God, you know the state of my heart. This woman is pestering my man. You know all the insults. You Tell God Can your you real state of your heart. Because God knows. Tell him. Tell him. With the mind of receiving forgiveness from him and favor from the Lord. I pray that God will grant us grace and strength to be able to do justice. Shall we rise in prayer? Let's rise in prayer. And just go to God straight away. Go to God straight away. Just go to God like Hannah did. Shall we pray together? In the name of the Wherever you are, go to God. Just pour out your heart. Your bitter heart. Any bitterness in your heart. Just pour it before the Lord. Just pour it before the Lord. Speak to the Lord tonight. Uh, that he will forgive you and also grant you favor. Repent before the Lord. Turn from every bitter state of your heart. Pour it unto him. Like Hannah did. Pour your heart before the Lord. Wherever you are. Come before the Lord. Every bitterness in your heart. Just speak to the Lord. Discuss it with him. Let the Lord, the Lord, the Lord knows. Uh, how bitter you feel about the situation. Tell him everything. And he is ready to forgive you and also give you you we come before you tonight, God. Based on the revelation of your word, that confession is the best way of dealing with our bitterness. You have taught us two types of confession that we can confess before you, O Lord, and receive forgiveness and favor. And we can also confess with the offended parties so that we will elicit peace and reconciliation. Tonight, we come before you, O Lord, our God, and we pour out our hearts, our bitter hearts, the bitterness in our soul, the bitterness in our heart. The pain is in our heart. How we feel, O oh Lord. And we ask, O oh Lord, our forgiveness. And help us, O oh Lord, to walk out of this pain and this bitterness. O oh Lord, our Lord, we are before you, O Lord. Every pain, every pain, every, pain, every bitterness in our heart, Lord. Every unforgiveness in our heart, Lord. 
We surrender it before you, Lord. He poured out his soul before you. Every seed of resentment, every anger, every bitterness in our heart, in our souls. Lord, we ask for forgiveness. Father, we release our souls and we release ourselves, Lord, from that entanglement of bitterness. Oh, Lord, help us. Our deep anguish, Father, the bitterness of God of our soul, the anguish in our spirit. Oh, Lord, we surrender it under your feet, oh God. No matter how many have offended us, no, many, no matter how many times that fellow has offended us, Father, we are asking the Lord, help us to forgive and forgive us for against the Lord in our heart. Help us, Jehovah, help us. Help us, our Lord, help us, Lord. No matter how many times you get offended, no matter how complex the situation is, Lord, we ask the Lord for forgiveness. The Lord, may you grant us favor. Heal our hearts, heal our hearts, heal our hearts, Lord. My soul will get in the hand of God. So that the times of repression will not fall to us, Lord. Of holding on to bitterness in our heart, Lord. We release our heart, we release our soul. Every anguish of God in our soul. Father, we ask the Lord that you cleanse it, that you pet us through the power of your word, Lord. Help us, help us, wherever you are. Go before God. If you need to cry, cry unto Him. Open your heart, open your heart. Let Him go.
Father, we release, we release. Marco lebre ando yo sire nia. Marco lebe kalia. Sire nia nia nia. Ame kale zene mayanda. Marco lebre ando yo sire. Paya de 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 kale mayanda kata yanda. Me kalu boyo no yo sire nia. Ama kala sade kalia. Sire nia nia nia. Kamba 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 kondo zene bre ando. Do you see the dia? Makaya haso. We forgive our offenders, Lord. From the depths of our heart, we release them. We forgive them, O God. Oh Lord, may you also forgive us, even as we forgive them. May you grant us your favor as we release the arms of our heart. Oh Lord, help us. Let us turn a new leaf today. Let us turn a new leaf today. Let your refreshing of God come to us, O Lord. Let our souls be refreshed. Let our spirit be released, O God. From every bondage of it. Help us, O Lord. Make a living hand of God. Mahapo. Zedelele. Karaya. Mahapa. Kalabra. Hando yo siyo de dia. Moko de bre hando yo siyo de dia. Abaya. Zedelele. Je ne ande kole bre ande ya Bayanda akonto kande ko kanapa Je ne ande lo kwa na hande ya Maso de bre ande lo kwa na hande ya Maso de bre ande lo kwa na hande ya Mako de bre kalia Asha de bre ande lo kwa na hande ya Le bre ambo koto kande ya Le bre bre ande lo kwa na hande ya We are pouring out our soul we are pouring out our bitterness before the Lord. We are pouring out the anguish in our hearts, the pain in our hearts, the unforgiveness in our hearts before the Lord. Before the Lord, may the Lord forgive us. And may He heal us. And may He grant us His favor. Makau bokotende, jananda kadamba, groho bokotende yende, eh salayanda ya, makala baham boku ana hande ya, abeke le 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 le, zana ya hando yo si ana hande ya, abeke le be yanda ashule bre ando yo, meka makalo bo yo si ya, le me le bre ando, ko le be kasa ya, se me asu le me kala bre hando yo si ya. Our Father also taught us that when we pour out before the Lord, He forgives us and we receive favor from him we also receive times of refreshing having poured out a heart of bitterness before him tonight shall we cry unto him that he will grant us his favor mm. that he should grant us every forgiveness that we deserve mm. that he should visit us with times of refreshing a turn around a change a new season Shall we lift up our voices and begin to pray? Lord, I have poured out our hearts of bitterness before you. Father, we are praying for a time of refreshing. We are praying that your favor will come unto us. And I said, may the Lord show me favor. We ask for your favor, O God. And we ask for your forgiveness, O God. May we receive a time of refreshing. May our lives be refreshed. May our souls be refreshed. May we be renewed, oh God. May we have a new sense of living, oh God. Before God, help us, O Lord. Marshal Abraham to you. Let me carry us. Let me carry us. Oh Lord, do not we receive your favor? Do not we receive your forgiveness? And do not we receive a time of refreshing, O God? For our souls and for our lives, O God, we thank you, O Lord. 
for ministering to us, O Lord, and healing our hearts, O Lord, in a very special way. May your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. We will humbly ask Pastor Auntie to sum up for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. we thank you, Lord, for your word. Yes. That you knew the true state of our hearts. Yes, Master. And this evening you have revealed unto us yes. how we can liberate ourselves from the burden of bitterness. Mm. And we confess unto you all our weaknesses, O God. Oh, all the grudges that we bear. Yes. All the hurts that we bear. Mm. And we submit unto you and we say, Lord, forgive us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And deliver us from our iniquities. Mm. Deliver us from the hurts that we burn in our hearts. Yes, and we ask you that, Lord, you forgive us, O God. Yes, Grant us favor Jesus that we will receive name. times of refreshing. Yes, we know by confessing unto you tonight, mm. we are liberated. Yes, we have been set free Amen. from every bondage. Yes, we are loose yes, and now we are going and moving in the power yes, of the Holy Ghost yes, that we have received refreshing of our souls, yes, refreshing of our spirit yes, and we are now free oh God, yes, to go about our life's business. Yes, we pray the Spirit of God continue to fill us yes, that will not give any room for bitterness yes, any longer. Yes, As we confess unto you Lord, we know we have been set free. Yes, we are free indeed. Amen. Thank you for the liberation. Yes, Thank you for your way. Amen. Thank you for the soundness yes. of mind. Amen. Thank you for the soundness of heart. Yes, Thank you for the soundness of this yes, body. Yes, we bless you for your word that has come to liberate us. We pray for our dear chairman who God. Continue to feel him, O oh God. Yes, Replenish the strength and energy that he needs, O oh God, Amen. to be able to continue with the work given unto him. Mm. We thank you tonight yes, that Lord. through your word we have received healings and deliverance. Yes, and we are liberated because the Holy Spirit mm. has now filled our spirit. Amen. Thank you now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, yes, have you pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Now a deep water, now a bonfire. So we Beloved, we are very grateful to God for another very night of great healing. And we are so, so, so grateful to our Father, the Chairman of the Church of Pentecost, for always, always being such a great blessing. Beloved, we display numbers of our counselors on the screens anytime our Father ministers so that if you are looking for extra support, um, our counselors are on hand to attend to you. They are ministers in the church, and uh, they will be always on hand to assist you. So the numbers have been displayed. Uh, kindly call any of the numbers if you need some extra support as you head tonight's message. We also want to indicate that these messages are on YouTube, they are on Facebook. I've always said that after being part of the life service, 
taking time again to listen and re-listen will allow it to really soak deep down and then be able to execute the spiritual surgery that the message is having on us. So please make time. Go on Pen TVGH on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel or the Church of Pentecost. Take your time and listen. You can download. And as you are even sleeping, you'll be playing it. And I'm sure God will be doing great work in you. Beloved, we are grateful to our sponsors, Adam City Estates, Lufa Tablet and Syrup, Next Computers, and then EDC. We are also grateful to all those who joined us on TV, on Pen TV, on Atenka TV, those who were on our various social media platforms, and then those who, who listened on the COP online radio. We want to indicate that on Tuesday, we'll be entering the prayer room to intercede. The operation is one million intercessors. It's the virtual prayer night with our dear chairman. The webinar ID is 9882971136698829711366. 9882971136. The passcode is chairman. Once you are entering into the system, it will ask you of an email address. If you have one, you key it in. If not, the generic one is meetings at gmail.com. Meetings at gmail.com. So from 10 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. or 22 hours to 23.30 hours, let's gather around and execute our highest form of Christian service. It is live on Pen TV and it is also streamed across our various social media handles. And after we have done the intercession, the next day, which is the 6th of March, is a holiday and uh, our voice of Pentecost the church's standing choir par excellence is having its concert at the National Theater. Let the nations hear. Let the nations hear. So it is 4 p.m. at the National Theater, the Unleashed concert. The Unleashed concert. And uh, by the grace of God, we are having, in addition to Voice of Pentecost, Elder Dr. Kwesi Miracle. We have Minister Joe Metal, our dear sister Diana Hamilton, and then Osofo, QB, Emmanuel Chibwete, all on the bill. It is free. And uh, the joy is that those who are across the globe, we would be telecasting it live on Pen TV. So you can connect and be part of this Unleashed concert so that we can all see what God is doing in the nations. Beloved, we are living here with God's word fired up in our hearts that if not for anything at all, we can go before God, confess our bitterness, so that we can receive his forgiveness and receive his favor. May the Lord grant us grace as we yield ourselves to him to continue to work on us in line with his purpose. See you, God willing, next Sunday. <laughs>